Yo, what's good? It is day 177, is it? It's the weekend, so it's Saturday right now. Uh, what time is it? It's about noon, 10 afternoon. I'm making breakfast, but it's kind of lunch, kind of a brunch kind of thing. Um, I just got back from a walk. I'm so fucking, you literally can see my face. I'm, I'm pale as hell, but <clears throat> it's Sunday, 17th. Let me check how many steps I got. I just got back from a walk. Didn't eat anything, went on a walk. Holy shit. I got seven, uh, 6,500 steps on that walk. So that was a long ass walk. It took me like an hour or so. Um, but yeah, good amount of steps to start the day, but now I'm just having my pre-workout meal. So what we got, Greek yogurt, some blueberries, blackberries as well. You got this Fairlife jug, and then I'm cooking up three eggs right now, so this is what's on the menu. Perfect eggs. Those look great. Um, usually I'd have more eggs, but I'm not trying to get like a full stomach. I just want, I don't even, I don't even usually eat before I work out, but um, I'm just trying to, I literally had to eat something. After that walk, I was absolutely done, so. I don't know if I didn't have enough. I, I, I drink an element salt, so I had some electrolytes, but I just got dehydrated. It's hot as hell outside, and yeah, it's humid. But I'm hitting arms today, so I'm gonna do a arm workout, grow my peak, because my peak is what I need to work on, as well as the width. I'm gonna do some hammer curls. I haven't done hammer curls in a while, which I should be doing hammer curls, because for my width, like, I don't have a very good width, to be honest. I don't know, maybe I do. It's not terrible, but it's not good. Like, it could be a lot bigger. Like, I need some good hammer curls going. So, hammer curls are definitely on the agenda, but I'm gonna eat this breakfast first. All right, I gotta get hyped up for this arm day. I said I wasn't gonna do caffeine, but Fuck it, we're doing caffeine, but not in the pre-workout. We're not doing caffeine in the pre-workout. We're doing caffeine, fuck, okay. So we're doing Gorilla Mind for a pump. And then we're doing White Gummy Bear Rain Energy. So the Rain Energies, 300 milligrams of caffeine. And it gets me fucking fired up. So this stuff, I don't think it tastes that good, to be honest. It's bombsicle flavor. I think it's like the best pre-workout you can get, in my opinion. Um, it gives you a good ass pump, but it's just not the best tasting, which the things that taste the best aren't always the best. So I don't really care about taste, but I haven't had a rain energy in a minute, and I've got a whole case of them, so I gotta start drinking them. Gets me fired up, so. Just did a little another walk, just to digest my food. I had three eggs, some Greek yogurt, some peanut butter, some milk, so. I'm trying to work that off a little bit, just so it's not in my stomach, it's in my bloodstream. But for lunch, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat probably some beef tenderloin. Fucking filet mignon. I have two, I have two huge filet mignons. Oh, those are gonna be good. So yeah, I'm gonna have those. I don't know how many is in the pack, but those are like shit, like $50 steaks right there. You know what's crazy? I went to this, this steak place and the steaks on their menu, I guess this isn't that crazy, but I get my beef, like it's good quality beef. Like it's literally like the best quality, literally from the butcher, Killed, they, they kill the cow, they butcher it, and it goes straight to me. It doesn't go to a store, it doesn't go fucking, no, it gets, it gets butchered, it gets frozen, and then I get it. So 
that's what all my beef is from the freezer. It's expensive. I spent like 800 bucks on it. Um, but it was good. It's not fucking like no hormones, no steroids, no shit in the beef. It's literally just a cow that's eaten grass and grown up. No fucking preservative or whatever the fuck you call them. But the steaks at this restaurant, there was a, I think the, I think the sirloin, it was like an eight ounce, like a six ounce sirloin or something crazy. It was 40 fucking dollars. And then there was a ribeye that was, I think 12 ounces that I think the ribeye was 60 fucking dollars, $60 for a 14 ounce ribeye or 12 ounce. I don't even know. I'm eating like a pound and a half of ribeye or like a, like a pound New York strip or something like that. Like high premium quality. They didn't even have a filet mignon, first of all. Those are even more expensive. So it's crazy how, ex how much people are fucking charging nowadays for just going to the restaurant. I guess it's the experience. I didn't even get a steak. I got walleye, but regardless, it's pretty crazy. I would not pay that much. I would just rather cook my own get better meat first of all and it's better macros because they're not fucking frying it in oil like you don't have the oil or the seed oils or whatever they cook it in because you don't know what they cook it in it might be good quality meat and it probably is for that price but what are they cooking it in they're cooking it in some seed oil or some shit that you don't want in your body so i don't know i'm going on a stupid rant but i'm gonna drink this pre-workout let me get a taste test really quick. It's pretty good. Arms don't look too bad already, but I'm gonna get a, a nice pump going. I forgot to put the hydration formula in there, so I'm gonna have to reopen that, but let's fucking get it. We're going to 40s. Oh my gosh, that was good. All right, this is a rare sighting of me taking my shirt off while I'm working out.
Feel that shoulder vein. All right. So for 12. Pretty good. All right, another one. Do a couple more of those actually. I'm burning out.
can't really feel skull crushers right now. Oh, could you even see me in that shit? I don't think the camera's pointing the right way. Good workout. I thought the video might be getting a little bit long, so I cut off a couple sets. I didn't really film the last bit of it, but I did some more brachialis work, which is like the width. It's like out here on your biceps, so you have like the fucking whatever this is called, but then that muscle right it runs along there. That's the brachialis. I think that's like the width muscle. So I don't know, I feel like hammer curls get a lot of your forearm as well, so I need to be training forearms more. Look at how small my fucking wrists are. It's crazy. But look at how big my arms look. Holy shit. That's not too bad. Let me, let me fix this. Oh, let me go put the glasses on. Oh no, my toothbrush. Damn it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take my shirt off. Not too shabby. Tricep is getting bigger. I think my tricep is my weak spot. Like a very big weak spot for me. And my bicep, just my arms in total. Stupid kid. You can probably, I don't know if you can hear him. Some stupid kid laughing. Just kidding. That kid does get pretty fucking annoying. Always running and shit in the hallways. Oh. When I'm trying to flex, how dare you laugh, little kid, while I'm trying to flex. I kind of look like a pedophile with these glasses. I got to take these off. All right, it was a good workout. I'm happy with those results. It was a good arm day. I just felt the pump immediately. Like we got the perfect amount of caffeine and, uh, and pump products. So where's my good natural lighting spot? Is it right here? Ugh. I'm getting bigger, I'm getting leaner. I gotta hit more, some, some more steps. I might go walk to my parents' house, take my dog for a walk, 
Only thing is, it's like, it's like 80 degrees outside. It's hot. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's not hot for some people out there, but <sighs> for me, it's pretty hot. But it means I burn more calories, right? So, whatever. Okay, my mic's upside down. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook some food right now. I don't know what I want to eat, though. I said I was going to have a filet mignon, but I don't think I'm going to. I'll figure it out. All right. These are the two steaks. So there's four in the packet, but I'm just going for two right now. Um, I'm going to I'm going to drink a, a whole thing of Fairlife, but I'm not exactly sure what else I want to have for it. Um, probably just an apple along with it. I honestly don't know what else because I don't really have a ton of stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'm tomorrow. I'm just going to kind of carb load, get a, get a good amount of carbs, have some spaghetti. So I got tortellini, but yeah, get some cheese in there as well. So it'll be a, it'll be a good meal. I was going to try to eat more calories today, but I think I've eaten enough to be honest. I, I think these two steaks will fill me up and then I, like a, another thing of fair life. And I should be good on calories. Like I don't want to go too overboard, um, but I do want to keep my metabolic rate. This is what I'm thinking. Because your metabolic rate can fluctuate. Like if you eat more and you move more, you could be burning 4,000 calories and, and, and eating 4,000 calories. Because I love, I love to eat. I want to eat more. Um, and also you're progressing more in that case. So I want to kind of like fluctuate that. So my thought process is during the weekends, I eat a lot more food. I move a lot more. I get a lot more steps and I kind of have like a mini bulk in the week. And then on the weekdays when I'm not walking as much, I still try to get as much activity done as possible, but I'm eating less, like I'm almost in like a deficit, lean ground beef, um, like just strict, pretty strict diet. But on the weekends I can get a little bit more lenient, still good food and good quality food. And I'm still staying strict to my diet, but I'm just eating more food and moving more. So it's kind of like a mini bulk so I can get my metabolic rate up during the weekend. And then I can burn fat the rest of the time continuously, if that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make sense. I just want to try something like that out. So, um, I've kind of been doing that just, just, being flexible. Like I can eat one day and uh, eat a fuck ton of food and the next day I can fast and be fine. Like it's not gonna kill me. I just wanna be flexible. Um, and Thomas Delauer talks about it. Being metabolically flexible is kinda like the best thing. You don't wanna be absolutely dead and crushed when you have a day where you don't have like food. <laughs> like you don't have your breakfast, your, your day is ruined. I don't wanna be like that. I wanna be like, okay, I can still dial in, I can still get a good workout in, even if I don't have food in me, or even if I have like a great meal with a ton of carbs, probably gonna have a good workout. So, just my opinion, I'm gonna go cook these steaks up because the, the grill's ready. I think I need a Fair Life sponsorship, to be honest with you guys. I'm drinking multiple of these things a day, so look at that bad boy. Right, there's both of them. Let's see what kind of cook we got going on. It wasn't the perfect cook, but we actually we'll see if it's actually perfect. The only thing about these steaks is they're kind of hard to tell. Oh, that's perfect. What am I talking about? That's absolutely perfect. They don't have much fat on them, so they don't light up in the in the grill. They don't get on fire. I mean, light up. <laughs> um, yeah, they don't turn on fire, so they don't get a super good crust unless you fry them. And I don't really like frying them. It makes my, my apartment smell like shit. And then uh, it also doesn't cook them as good, in my opinion. I love, I love a grill. A grill cooked steak. It's just, it's just better. So, yeah. Let me show you guys real quick. And then I'm going to go to town on these bad boys. So. Look at that. That's perfect. Perfect, medium rare, rare, whatever you want to call it. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? That's really good. Obviously need some salt. 
get that sodium in, get that blood pressure up. But I'll show you guys. Yeah, that's perfect. Chef TMQ, let's get it, baby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat these up. I'm gonna drink these Fair Lives. And I'm gonna live the good life. Let's get it. All right, I thought, fuck it. I'm pretty sore and pretty tense. My shoulders need to get worked out, so I'm gonna go hit a massage real quick. So I just called places that are open right now. This lady who <laughs> didn't speak a fucking, barely spoke English, answered and she's like, deep tissue. Yes, come now. And so I, I can't impersonate a fucking Chinese lady. But um, yeah, it was a pretty funny conversation. Uh, pretty quick conversation. She said, come now, so I'm going. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll update you guys when I get back. But it could be either like the best massage I've ever had. Or some of the reviews were a little bit dodgy. But there were some that were like, yeah, this is the best place ever for the money. I don't know. She said it was 80 bucks, so I was like, fuck it, whatever. She does, <laughs> there was like multiple reviews that says uh, she really forces you to give a tip. She's like, like, more tip, more tip. So, we'll see. I'm gonna bring some cash with me, so I don't know what is a good tip. For 25% would be, okay, so it's an $80 massage for 60 minutes. I don't know, maybe I should give her 20 bucks, we'll see. I don't know, I might have to get cash then. I think I only have like $15. Holy shit, that was crazy. She did a bunch of weird shit, but I I don't know if I got <coughs> scammed or not. Like I said, it was 80 bucks for 60 minutes. It was actually a pretty good massage. Um, I don't know if it was deep tissue. She did have a lot of power for how small she was. I will say that, she was fucking tiny. She was literally that big, like probably small. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've had, I don't know, maybe like five or six massages in my lifetime, all within like the last two, three years. Um, cause I haven't been able to fucking afford them before. And honestly, I think they're worth it, but it just depends on which one you go to. I've never gone to the same person more than once. Like I've gone to five different places, but this was less of like a sports deep tissue massage. When I get massages, I usually just get like a, like a sports one, um, where it's just a muscle, not like a relaxing one. She kind of did a mix, which it wasn't like a sports place, but I don't know. I should probably just spend the money because I ended up, <laughs> I ended up spending as much as I would go to like a, a good sports place. I spent a fucking $145 because what happened was well, first of all, this was funny as fuck. When I got in there, she's like, you want one one girl or two girls? Is the first thing that she said to me. So then I was like, because you know the stereotype with fucking hole in the wall, like strip mall, massage, Asian, Asian, can't even say it, Asian massage places. Yeah, she's like, do you want two girls? I was like, what is the second girl doing? And then I was, she was going to charge me $80 extra, $2, two dollars Two people doing like doing a massage at the same time. I don't know what the other person does, but I didn't get it and I didn't pay the other amount. Um, but when the sixty minutes was up, I was like, "Hey, if I pay another like forty bucks, can we do another thirty minutes?" Because she only did my back, and she I wanted my chest and my shoulders. So I was like, "That's the whole reason I came." And she only did my back and my legs, and then uh, she was like, "Yeah." And then there was this whole fucking exchange because she, she had to get paid during that. So she went, she, she grabbed my card out of my stuff <laughs> and went and got paid. And we were debating price because I only had, I only brought fucking $12 to tip her because I was thinking it was going to be 80 bucks. What's that? Like 15%. She's like, you tip more? Only, only $12? Only 20. I was like, okay, I'll give you an extra $10. So it'll be like 20, $22 tip. I was like, that's like 20% or something like that. And she's like, 20%? <laughs> I was like, people did more than that? And so it was like five minutes of us arguing over the price. So um, it ended up being $145 for fucking 90 minutes. Um, and then we got, got the job done. Nothing happened other than a massage, right? So 
it was just an experience. I would not go again. The only reason I went is because like, fuck, I need a massage. I just, I, I just wanted one. So yeah, I made good money this month. So fuck it. I'm going to book a new one before this guy that I used to go to like two years ago and actually know him because he goes to my Muay Thai gym. I've seen him multiple times. I think he does jujitsu though. I don't see him doing Muay Thai. He's big as fuck. He's a bodybuilder. He's like 6'4 and definitely bodybuilds because he is fucking huge. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go to him again. Him, like, dude, that dude dug in. Like, he had enough power to get in there. This girl, like, she was good, but she just didn't have the power and she wasn't, it wasn't a sports massage. I don't know why I'm going on about this massage. Maybe some people want to hear. But, um, yeah, not you gay fucks. If you're gay, stop watching my channel. I'm sick of the gay shit. Here's what I have for the gay people. Nothing against gay people. Just don't say the shit to me. Just just keep it out of here. This is not a fucking airsoft gun, alright? People say this is an airsoft gun. Does this look like an airsoft gun? It's not an airsoft gun, alright? I don't know if I can show this shit on YouTube or what the guidelines are, but I don't care. If you're saying some gay shit in my comments, this is a real gun. I see you. I also got, I also fucking have trained Muay Thai, so. It's either, it's gonna be one of these guns. So. <sighs> Maybe that was too far. I don't have anything about against gay people, I just don't want it around me, and I don't want people talking to me about that shit. Like, it's getting annoying. Like, I don't want to hear it. I don't know why I feel stupid having to call this shit out. Like it's it it shouldn't be a problem. I should just ignore it, but it's just one of these gay dudes just keeps messaging me. Like do not reach out to me on fucking social media. Do not reach out to me. Like please don't. That's mainly if you're gay. Like I don't care if you if you're just saying what's up, like but if you're gay and you're trying to get with me, no. We're not doing that shit. I'll actually shoot you. Also, in regards to the massage, getting back on track, what I was saying, um, another weird ch thing she did, I've never had somebody stick their fingers in my ears. I don't know what type of massage she was massaging my ears. I think that's kind of a normal thing. But she stuck her fingers in my ears and went like this. That's what she was doing. I've never had that shit. So if you want to get your fucking ear canals massage, go to, a, go to this place. I'll send you the address. But that was crazy. She did some other crazy shit. She like, uh, she got on the fucking table. She got literally on the table. Like, here's my head. Okay, so imagine like I'm laying out like this. So like, this is my head. So here's my clap. Like, that's my head right here. And then I'm laying this way, right? She got her knees on the side of my head right here and right here. And she was massaging my back and she... She pulled down my pants, like my my full butt was out. She didn't do anything weird, like I don't know if that is weird, um, because it did feel good when she massaged my butt, but it was like an old Chinese lady. So, fuck, <laughs> I'm definitely not going again. But um, it was an experience. But that was some crazy shit. I've never I've never experienced somebody getting on top of the head. I don't know if that place is regulated, because um, she did make a lot of money off of me though. So, props to her. She uh, she forced me to tip a lot. So, <sighs> I feel loose. I feel pretty good. I'm going to get one probably, another one maybe next weekend. We'll see. Whenever Josh is open, but I got to book that next one. They always get you with the tipping. Fucking hate tipping. Unless they do a very good job. Then I'm not, I'm like completely fine with uh, the doing. But when you're asking for it, like, let me do it out of the kindness of my heart. Please. Because then I look like a better person as well. But I'm going to head to bed. Actually, I'm not going to head to bed. I'm going to go on a walk really quick. It is 9. Holy shit, it's 9.30 right now. I'm going to go get some more steps. I am currently at, I'm guessing like 10,000 something. I'm at 11,800, so about 12,000. So I'm going to get another probably two, 3,000 in and then uh, head to bed. So.
That was day 177. Tomorrow, I think I'm doing back. I'd have to go check. It's either back or shoulder or something. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Good day.